So if you've been at Apley Airfield, you might have seen the cones and barricades there. It means change is coming in a matter of hours. 3 News Now reporter Ron Johnson has those details for us tonight. Yeah, that's right, Mark. A permanent entrance is opening tomorrow, and officials say it's part of a plan that makes the airport more accommodating. For a while now, this is what drivers have been used to seeing on the way into Epley Airfield. Lots of construction, lane closures, and barricades. I've dealt with it for a good two to three months now. Mark Emmons said he's made six trips to the airport in the past two weeks for family coming in from out of town. Getting used to the construction has been an uphill battle. I got used to it the second time and then uh, they did switch it. They switched the entrance to the terminal and I missed it the next time. But on Wednesday, travel to the airport is set to go a lot smoother. That's when a new entrance is set to open. Airport officials say it marks the end of an almost year-long process to improve accessibility. So one of the first things we identified that was necessary is to address the roadway system here as it comes on to the, to the terminal property. The entrance replaces a temporary one used during the construction and will be moved to the south about 500 feet, providing better access to parking lots. And here's a look at the new entrance as you come into the airport from Abbott Drive. Airport officials say this new reconfiguration will better accommodate a growing number of travelers here in Omaha. We're looking at long-term facility needs to accommodate rising passenger demand and activity here at the airport. Airport officials say this project is just the start of many improvements at Epley Airfield, focusing on bettering customers' experience. Emmons says he has another trip planned for the airport on Wednesday, and he's already looking forward to using the new entrance. It will make travel less stressful. It'll make pickup and drop-offs a lot easier. Officials say they plan to have the projects wrapped up later this year, but upgrades to the terminal, they're expected to take about six to seven years to complete. About half the funding for the projects comes from FAA federal grants, the rest of the money generated by the airport. Live in the newsroom tonight, Ron Johnson, 3 News Now.